I've been begging them. All the Africans once said that they're going to sue your show for you having me yeah. on. And I told them, here, let me give you an international immigration lawyer to get your black ass over here so you can do that. But I've asked them, look, send me a picture where you live. I ain't got a picture yet. I got all this talking. I got all this. This is Alexander. This is 2023. Whoa! This is one of the biggest slums in South South Africa. So why are you telling me that you got such good? Oh, we have a black president. Your black president is an Uncle Tom. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. No stranger to what we do. This guy right here, man. A lot of people. I got a lot of inboxes from Africa. About this guy right here, they was telling me, you don't know, you don't know. I couldn't understand what they were saying as far as if it was not text, but it was it was it was pretty living. They sent me a lot of videos. I get tagged in every African video now. Anything they got going that they feel like they want boss talk one on one to know, they tagging me in it and on YouTube, on Instagram, well he's here again. And he's gonna tell us why he said what he said about Africa. I told them all is in the building. In the building. We up in your city now. We, 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 we in Los Angeles. I forgot you can come. I'm from Compton, but Bompton, California. We in Babylon. We we here. I'm glad to know. Glad to be I'm here. I'm up here in California, man, and I'm loving it, man. What's going on with you, man? How you looking good? Man, I took a bath and everything. I heard you had a birthday. Man, just had one on the fourth. Really? Yes, yes sir. How, what'd you do, man? You, I, well, you wasn't even in the city, man. Yeah, I was. I was. I was here. You made I, it back. I, 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 I was in uh, Meridian, Mississippi, with uh, with Freeway Rick uh, Scruncho. They did a, a comedy show in Meridian. Went really well. R went well. And it was it was really nice, man. I had experience, and I, uh, I learned a lot about uh, Freeway, and I learned a lot about you know his moves and his mechanisms. So uh, it was an educational. Uh, experience for me dealing with bro and his business mind genius, genius. valid really solid dude you know and I really appreciated the experience him and the Galen Smith yeah they, shout out to Galen man, and, and Freeway look here bro I'm gonna move to Meridian you gonna move to Meridian I ain't gonna Why? stay there <laughs> but I'm gonna move there <laughs> what was the good thing about it girls they should fresh and then I get lied to them before they lied to me. Wow, man! I was there like a celebrity. What, last time when you was on the show, I got to I got to get this off, man. Address These, it. Yeah, I got to, man. They uh, the Africans. You said I had you on, and you, I, I didn't know I you. Said, I, I didn't know you were going to say it. I, I, well, I'm glad you didn't know. I didn't know. It I, caught I, me by I, surprise. I say, yeah, you don't I, like Africa. I'm like, I, what the Africa? Africa. But, what and, happened? And, what and, made and, you and, say and, that? And I said it. In, in, in the pretest, and, and I and I came back on my podcast. I got a lot of flack off of it. You said F Africa, fuck Africa. I, said, well, I, I was kind of being facetious in one way, but I was being what I had 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 learned and what I experienced. And I got on my podcast on I told Marv, and I apologized for the monkey and and the gorilla. Gym. It was a monkey, gorilla, and something else. Tiger. Tiger. Oh my god! So they had to tell me the tigers wasn't in Africa like they in the zoo. So I don't give a. <laughs> yeah, I just said that. I, I said that, and I, I was really because I don't want nobody to really say, you know, nothing about Compton. And I, it take offense to where you live, but the truth is the truth. You dig what I'm saying? So you're trying to uh, elaborate that Africa? Yeah, I got all the man. I cussed some of them back out, and <laughs> me and we was going at it. But one thing about it, and all the texts and everything that they sent you, I've been begging them. All the Africans once said that they're going to sue your show for you having me yeah. on. And I told them, here, let me give you an international immigration lawyer to get your black ass over here so you can do that. But I've asked them, look, send me a picture where you live. I ain't got a picture yet. I got all this talking. I got all this. This is Alexander. This is 2023. Whoa. This is one of the biggest slums in South South Africa. So why are you telling me that you got such good, oh, we have a black president. Your black president is an Uncle Tom. But wow. that's not showing, but that's not showing anything bad from what no, I'm let, seeing. Let, let me see it's not bad when you walking around houses on top of houses. 
They're not houses. There, there's the houses that are close together. Oh but, yeah, this here. Where is that? New at? York have houses close together. Okay. okay. Yeah, but that, that don't look too promising. Uh, okay. I ain't moving over there. Yeah, that yeah, one okay. don't look. So okay, here you go. Okay. <laughs> let me let me show you what they resident in 2023. Since you saying they ain't nobody doing that in New York, where are they doing that at? That's let South see Africa. It. That this this from old long gotta be from a long time ago. No, that's not that's twenty twenty three, bro. Okay, what part of Africa is that? This in South Africa. That's in because, Alexandria. Because but in the comment that you said you spoke about Johannesburg in particular. Johannesburg is South Africa, dear. Okay, I don't know. I'm just well, asking. I'm, to let you I'm know, gonna let you know. This, uh, 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 that's the rich part. This is a mile and a half away from right in the backyard of all these rich pecker woods. Mm-hmm. This is the ghetto. This is the slum. But is it a certain part of, because you it's know. It's a certain part on, of everywhere. Because, exactly, because everywhere when you, when you go, when even you, here, you have certain parts of the it's, ghetto. It's, I, and I agree with that 100%. And when you, if I take you on a fantastic voyage and take you all apart of Beverly Hills. Right. And right now we're in downtown. Mm-hmm. Have you been to the east side of downtown? No. We'll go over there and see how they living over there. These high rises. That's where all the homeless people this are. This is where the home. This is the biggest. This is the right. Johannesburg of South Central. Mm. So everybody got them. You dig what I'm saying? But when you tell me that you are such a progressive country. And the biggest country that's successful is Nigeria. And do you know why Nigeria is successful? Why? Because the last 26 years, they dealt with China. Instead of China, China started going into the ghettos and building schools, and they deal with communism and socialism. Johannesburg, South Africa, they're trying to deal with democracy. What democracy does not take care of capitalism is capitalism, and the one percenters run everything. Mm-hmm. So you're 20 percent of your nation and 80 percent uh, of your nation and 20 percent runs everything you have. So if you want to be the only way that they can get any justice is one or two, two systems, totalitarianism or utilitarianism, the greatest good for the greatest number. So I have went and researched everything and how Africa got where it was and who it is and the uh, they, they talk about the billionaires they have in Africa. It's uh, Nikki um, Offenheimer. She's the billionaire in Africa. This, this is the white family that owns 90% of the country and the diamonds Offenheimers. This is a white man. This is a white family. So they don't have no black billionaires. One. And his name is uh, do, do, do. Patrice Mozambique. He's the he's the only black African in in Africa. Uh, John Rupert is the third white billionaire. Coos Becker. These are South Africa out of South Africa's billionaires, the wealthiest billionaires, six hundred and fifty billion dollars. Only four blacks. So your number don't add up. And your four blacks, everybody that's working for their companies and their corporations are other blacks. So if you call Africa the motherland, in America, it would be a crackhead mother because they left it. We talk about the, uh, uh, the Northwest Passage, the Southwest Passage. What in white folks got us there? Other niggas put us on them boats. They were having wars and tribalism and they sent the, the stronger ones and the weaker ones stayed there. But one thing about Africa, they never come to get us, did they? Mm-hmm. You don't have nobody in the line trying to get to Africa, but Africa's always trying to get to America. You got Oprah Winfrey buildings. I know buildings. people who said they would move to Africa They now. would. They ain't gone. <laughs> <laughs> How many went? And when they get there, they're coming the fuck back. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you, well, tell me, how many, I'll wait. How many of you know that moved over there and stayed? The people that told you. They just say they're going to move. They say. <laughs> they say they're they going say. to move. Yeah. And going to Africa is like waiting on Jesus. <laughs> he ain't going. Okay. I, I'll wait. So, so you, what you're saying is it's a much better uh, living condition in America than it is to go over there to Africa. It's apparent. 